thanks for joining me today for a brand new Studio Monday video that's all about Halloween. So I've got a bunch of products from the Doodlebug Booville collection. And I want to show you how I created some really fun treat bags, which would be perfect for giving to people that you know, filled with little treats for Halloween. So what you're seeing me go through right now is the Booville Petite Prints pattern paper. These are 12 by 12 papers, which are actually perfect for card making too because the prints are so small. However, I'm going to be using these papers with the Lawn Fawn Goodie Bag Die. Now this die is so much fun because it creates really cute little goodie bags that are perfect for filling with little treats and candies. I'm cutting this goodie bag twice from some of this pattern paper. You can see how the die looks after you've cut it out. You need two pieces to create the goodie bags. And as we're going ahead and cutting this into my Big Shot, I'm making sure to cut into the front of the paper that I'm going to want as to be the front side. So now that I've cut two pieces, I'm folding them so that way I can start adhering everything together. But I want to make sure I crease all of these folds really nicely so that way my bag is going to stand sturdy and straight. Now these score lines are really easy to fold along. They've already been pre-scored as you run this through your Big Shot machine or any other die cutting machine. So once you've die cut this, it creates those score lines as you cut. To adhere my bag together, I'm using double-sided adhesive, and that is the adhesive that's going to hold our goodie bag together. This strong double-sided tape is from Score Tape, and I really like using it for things like this because I know it's not going to fall apart. So as I'm going ahead and adhering this flaps together to the side of the bag, I'm going to do this to both pieces. I'm going to adhere the side flap to the big square area of your goodie bag. I'm going to do that to both sides. After I've gone ahead and adhered the two sides together, then I'm going to add adhesive to one of the bases, just one. Then I'm going to attach the other side of the goodie bag. So I'm now adhering those two pieces together by adhering the bases together. So you're only going to want to add adhesive to one, at one base, and then you'll be able to adhere the two bags together with the side flaps then as well. There are two side flaps that we didn't adhere yet, and those are the two that get adhered to each other to make our entire bag. So this bag is really sturdy and it's gonna hold up really, really well. I loved making these goodie bags. I could have kept making tons more if I had the time. So after I've gone ahead and created my bag, you can see that we've got our goodie bag ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I crease the inner folds there of the goodie bag just to help make the bag have a little bit more of a better shape. Now that I've got my bag finished, I can go ahead and start decorating. Now I've created a bunch of goodie bags, and I'm only going to show you one of each type that I created, simply because this video would be really long if I tried to show you everything. So I decorated each goodie bag with products from Doodlebug's Booville collection. This is a really fun Halloween collection, and I love the bright, happy colors. So I used this really cute Doodle Pops sticker. This is the Trick or Treats Doodle Pop sticker. I really think that pumpkin is so cute with the little candy inside. I'm also bringing in some pattern papers from the Booville 6x6 paper collection. There's some really fun sentiment pieces that are in that set, which I cut this I Want Candy sentiment from. But then there's also some cute borders, and I'm taking one of the borders here and attaching this towards the bottom of this goodie bag. I wanted to add a little bit more extra color and contrast and bring in some of that black so I thought that this border worked really nice for that. I'm adhering all of these pieces down with a mixture of foam tape and regular tape runner adhesive. I also added in those little candy corn stickers that were part of that Doodle Pop sticker, and I think this is so much fun. So I created a few of those. I used the Witch here from the Wanda Witch Doodle Pop sticker, and I also used some of the cardstock embellishments from the Booville collection. You can see the little witch there with her little jack-o'-lantern, and I added a hello beautiful sentiment. And then this super cute ghost, I added him down onto a black goodie bag with some of the stars from the cardstock collection from Doodlebug's Booville collection. Now, another idea for creating little treat bags is to reuse packaging. This is a little goodie bag that I had gotten that actually was holding sequins, and I thought the bag was just so cute. I love the little cellophane feel and also the little polka dots on there. I just thought it was adorable, so I wanted to use this. So this is a great reuse of packaging. And I just added a little scallop border across the top, and I'm going to use some of these uh, translucent ghosts from the cardstock collection from Doodlebug's Booville set, and I'm going to add those into the center here. I thought that really looked nice with the translucent feel of the bag. 
I also decorated those ghosts by using some of the eye candy sprinkles from Doodlebug's Boo Boo collection again. I think this is a really fun way to be able to use those eye candy stickers by adding them on top of little critters and cardstock embellishments. They add just a totally new feel to something like these little ghosts. I added them to a lot of the little characters that I have on my goodie bags. So I'm also attaching again some of those sentiments and borders from the paper collection. And I adhered all of this down with some tape runner, but then the ghosts I added down just in the center of their mouths with some Zotz Bling glue dots. And the reason I chose this is because I didn't want the adhesive showing too much on the ghosts and hiding the adhesive dot behind their mouth was a perfect way to make sure that they were adhered down well, but they weren't going to have too much distracting adhesive. So those guys are super cute and I filled those and all of these goodie bags with some Hershey Kisses. And I am going to be sending these goodie bags off to a group of people that I absolutely adore. And I really love the idea of being able to reuse the packaging like this because this is a great reuse. So if you have packaging of different materials and stuff that you have in your stash already or at home, totally break those out and start using them because you can really create some cute goodie bags from stuff like that. Now, this is another type of goodie bag that we have. These are craft bags that have a clear packaging on the one side, and then there's craft on the back side. And this is a great way to be able to use these as well for making goodie bags. These are also very inexpensive. So I'm gonna decorate the top part of the goodie bag using the Simon Says Stamp Scallop Border Die. And I thought this was a really great addition to the bag because it helps make the bag look a little bit more cuter. And it matches up with the Doodlebug theme so well because Doodlebug is totally cute. I also wanted to add little scenes in these bags. All of these bags have some sort of scene going on in them. And for these craft bags, I didn't really want the silver that was showing through to be behind my critters because I didn't think that was giving them enough contrast and it wasn't enough color. I love color, so I wanted to make sure that these were totally colorful. So I cut little squares of pattern paper from that Bouville pattern paper collection and I'm slipping these into the goodie bag. So I measured out to be about two and a half inches-ish. It was a little less, a little more, depending on the scrap of paper that I used. But I just slipped little squares of paper into the goodie bag, just using some simple tape runner to tack those down. And then I also added some scenery down towards the bottom using those scallop border dies and some of the pattern paper. I created little grassy strips. In some cases, I used the Lawn Fawn grassy hill sides dies, but then in other cases, I used these Simon Says Stamp scalloped border dies. I just kind of mixed and matched and played around with the different ones. I like being able to mix and match the different products that I have to create different effects. So these bags all look really similar, but they're all different and unique too because I used different things and mixed and matched them and just had a lot of fun putting these together. Another fun thing that I did with these little bags is that I added some twine to the craft ones. The craft bags have little notches on each side of the bag and this is perfect for sticking some twine into to be able to tie that around the goodie bags. Just give them a little bit of extra something special. So if you have twine or ribbon that you want to add onto your goodie bags like this, these craft bags are so perfect for that because they've already got the notches put in there and the, good, and the uh, twine's not going to go anywhere. So again, I filled all of these goodie bags with some Hershey Kisses, but you could fill them with anything. You could even fill them with little treats like lip balm and other small things. So you can see here an example of some of the other different bags that I created, again using some of the products from the Doodlebug Booville collection. Now this is how I filled the goodie bag. So I took some of those little Hershey Kisses and these craft bags stand up after you've added the candy and stuff inside. So as you add the candy in there, there's a little pouch down at the bottom that kind of sinks and opens up a little bit as you start to add things in there. And that's what's allowing your bag to then stand up afterwards. I also filled those little Lawn Fawn goodie bags with the Hershey Kisses. And you can see you can get a lot of candy into all of these different bags. These Lawn Fawn bags don't seem like they would hold a lot, but really you get a lot of candy to be able to fit inside each of those little bags. So these goodie bags were so much fun to create. You can see I was going crazy making a whole bunch of these and I loved it. So I hope that it has inspired you to make some goodie bags of your own. And also, if you're not into Halloween, you could totally turn these goodie bags into another thing. You could turn them into birthday goodie bags, Christmas goodie bags, all sorts of other things. 
Now there's also one other goodie bag that I made but did not film. This goodie bag here is a treat box that we sell at Simon Says Stamp. And this goodie bag holds a ton of candy. Like it is stuffed full with a whole bunch. And you can make some really cute windows with those. So I filled this with the Hershey Kisses and you can see the little scene down along the bottom. And I also used that Halloween sentiment from the Doodlebug Booville cardstock collection also with that spider. And I added little fun eyes to each of these little elements. So fun, fun goodie bags that I think would be so much fun to give to different people that you know, kids or adults alike as either favors or just little treats for Halloween. So I hope that it's inspired you to create some fun projects with the Doodlebug Booville collection or some goodie bags of your own for another theme. So thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I will be back next week with another video to share. And until then, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.